Um, Lonnie Chen joins us, Hoover Institute Research Fellow, former Marco Rubio, 2016 presidential campaign advisor and a former Romney Ryan presidential campaign policy advisor back in the day as well. Um, on this day, it was really John McCain who seemed to get this thing started. And, um, you know, the Melissa made the point earlier on, it was just like, hey, if he's for it, then I, I guess it's going to pass, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. So you got to think about which Republicans would really stand in the way of major legislation. Now, John McCain was a was a big question mark. I think the fact that he came out and resolved that very important for Mitch McConnell and for the president. Uh, there are a few others like Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski. Uh, and as you noted, Bob Corker, yeah. uh, who have expressed concerns uh, for a variety of different reasons. I just think that at the end of the day, this has become such an important policy and political imperative that they're going to vote for this thing. I think the votes will be there, and I think this does pass the Senate by the end of the week. I heard a lot, uh, you know, don't make the perfect the enemy of the good argument from a lot of people in Washington for the last, uh, well, number of weeks uh, leading up to this. What about as a policy measure? I mean, it doesn't seem like anybody is necessarily thrilled, but the, the argument is better than what we have. Is that fair? Yeah, it's certainly better than what we have. I mean, look, there's a couple of things. First of all, reducing the corporate rate mm -hmm. will result in, in an increase in growth. You're going to see an increase in wages down the road as well, according to many economists. Uh, you're going to see simplification on the individual tax side. You're going to see lower rates for small businesses and for individuals. And there are a lot of things in this bill, I think, that, that frankly illustrate how tough tax reform can be. And there are tough decisions that have to be made anytime you're dealing with provisions in the tax code that right. people have gotten used to. It's going to create constituencies. But you know what? I do think it's an improvement on the status quo, and I do think senators are right to vote for it. Now, your point about the corporate rate coming down and 20 percent being the target, I mean, I mentioned coming in that you'd worked for Marco Rubio. Boy, the Wall Street Journal's editorial page really hammered him uh, this morning for wanting that or being willing to have the corporate rate only come down to 22 rather than 21, I believe because he wants to raise the child tax credit, right? So it does show right. Republicans don't necessarily agree on everything. And your personal opinion on that particular back and forth? Well, you know, Marco has been talking for a while about creating a, a fully refundable child tax credit. In other words, a, a tax credit that would even go to people who don't have an income tax liability, who essentially just pay through their payroll taxes. And I think his, his basic point is, look, it's expensive to raise kids in America, and we want to do what we can to reward right. families and to reward people who make that decision. At the end of the day, some Republicans don't like it because they see it as more welfare. So I can understand both sides of the argument. I think Marco's got the better political argument here, which is, look, if you're going to lower the corporate tax rate, you got to think about some way to address some of these distributional concerns, and the tax credit certainly helps to Finally, do that. Finally, as a political argument, that is your business. Are you comfortable as a Republican or those that might be advising Republican candidates in the midterms in 2018, are you comfortable running on this plan, this particular plan? Yeah, I, I am, because okay. I think that there are a lot of benefits in here. I, I think you're looking at higher wages, faster growth, uh, lower tax rates for many in the middle class. Doubling that standard deduction is super helpful, because remember, 75 percent of taxpayers already uh, take the standard deduction. That's going to go up significantly more after this tax bill. There's a right. lot of things in here, Connell, that I think taxpayers are going to like. And it looks like it's on its way to passing. But hey, listen, not until it's across the finish line. Lonnie Chen, good to see That's you. That's right. And thank you very much for coming on.